Hello everyone, I am Anushka Gupta and today we will be studying the greedy approach to solve problems. In simple terms, when we solve a problem in steps and at each step we choose the optimum solution or the best option, then it's called a greedy approach. We always pick the best choice at any step in a greedy approach. It works on the assumption that by picking a local optimum solution at each step, we will reach a global optimum. That is, we choose the best option at each step and when we have completed all our steps, we will get an overall optimized solution. So if this is true, then it makes sense to use greedy approach. The greedy algorithm never reconsiders its choices. That is, once you have taken the decision for a particular step, you can't revisit that step to make changes even if making this change could have better optimized your solution. Now to understand this concept, let us look at an example. You have coins of denomination rupees 10, rupees 5 and rupees 1. Find the minimum number of coins to get a total of 17 rupees. Using the greedy approach, we will first select rupees 10 coin because it is of highest denomination. For the remaining 7 rupees, we will select 5 rupees coin and for the remaining 2 rupees, we will select 2 coins of 1 rupee each. So in total, we have 4 coins. Now let us look at an example where this greedy approach fails. Here we have coins of denomination rupees 10, rupees 7 and rupees 1. And we have to find minimum number of coins to get a total of 16 rupees. So if we use the greedy approach, we'll see that we again choose rupees 10 coin. And for the remaining 6 rupees, we select 6 coins of 1 rupee each, giving us a total of 7 coins. But if you observe, this solution is incorrect. It is better if we use 2 coins of 7 rupees each and 2 coins of 1 rupee each. Now let us look at an example where you can use greedy approach. This is the job scheduling problem. Its problem statement is given a set of n jobs along with profit on if the job is completed by its deadline order the jobs in such a way that there is maximum profit. Here you are given these jobs A, B, C, D and E with their deadlines that is A gets completed at the second second, B gets completed at the first second and so on. And the profits are also the associated profits are also mentioned with them. In order to solve this question, we need to first sort the jobs according to their profit in descending order. And we get that B has the highest profit followed by A, D, C and E. Once these jobs have been sorted, we select the job with the highest profit which is B. B gets completed at the end of first second. Now we look at uh, the remaining jobs. So job A has a deadline of 2 second. So we can select A because we will be able to complete this job in the given deadline. However, after selecting A, we cannot select D because D's deadline has already passed and we won't be able to complete D in the given deadline. So we just ignore D. We select C because it can be completed in the given deadline. However, we cannot select E because its deadline has already passed. So if we take the final output, it would be that we schedule job B followed by A followed by C. So job B gave a profit of 100 rupees, job C gave a profit of 20 and job A gave a profit of 60. So in total, our answer will be 180 rupees. Now let us look at the code for this problem. We first define a structure for the job and each job has an ID, a deadline and a profit. We use the comparison function to sort the jobs in the order of decreasing profit. 
the print job scheduling is the main function using the greedy approach here we are, we are sorting the function uh, sorting the jobs according to decreasing order of their profits we use the result array to so store the sequence of jobs the slot array keeps a track of free time slots we initialize the slot array with false that is initially all the slots are free then this outer loop which is i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this outer loop iterates through all the given jobs for each job we find the last possible free slot and make the slot occupied once the free slot is found we add the job and make the slot occupied finally we print the result overall time complexity of this solution will be big o of n square because here we are iterating through all the jobs and for each job we are finding a free slot now let us look at another example where greedy approach can be used the fractional knapsack problem its problem statement is given a set of items each with a weight and a value determine a subset of items to be included in a collection so that the total weight is less than or equal to a given limit and the total value is as large as possible so in fractional knapsack problem you can also include a part of or a fraction of the item the problem statement basically means that you have a bag of given capacity and you need to select items such that the bag does not overflow and you get the maximum profit so suppose the bag is of capacity 100 you cannot fit in items of 110 kgs you need to fit in items under 100 kgs such that the value the total value of all those items is maximum in fractional knapsack you can even break the items for maximizing the total profit so for solving this problem the basic idea is to calculate the ratio of value by weight for each item and then sort the items on the basis of this ratio so here i have calculated the profit by weight ratio of each item for a b c d and then i have sorted them so what i get is that b has the highest ratio followed by a c and d so suppose my capacity was 60 kgs so i will first select b because it is giving me the highest ratio and i will check whether i can include b as a whole in my bag or not my capacity is 60 kgs and 60 is greater than 10 so i can include b as a whole in my bag once i have done this i will have now 50 kgs of capacity remaining in my bag next i check for item a which is having the second highest ratio so a has a weight of 40 which is less than 50 so i can include a as a whole now i'll be uh, now i will have 10 kgs remaining so for now i check the weight of c which has the third third highest ratio now c has a weight of 20 so it cannot be included as a whole so now we include a fraction of c in our bag so we include half of c in our bag so in total if we calculate the profit it will be 100 plus 280 plus 60 which is a total of 440 rupees now let us look at the code for this problem we define a structure item to represent each item which has a value and a weight the cmp function is used to sort the items according to value by weight ratio the fractional knapsack 
function is the main function which will be using the greedy approach so here we uh, set the current weight to 0 and the final value to 0 then we loop through all the items and we check if we can include the item as a whole or not if we can then we will include the item as a whole and if we can't then we will include the item as a fraction once we are done with this we will return the final value the time comp the time complexity for this will be big o of n log n because in this the main job is of sorting and the best sorting algorithms require minimum of n log n time this is all for this video if you like this video then like share and subscribe thank you